What is online and is it the future of gaming? There's no one better to answer those big questions than the brains behind it. So I'm delighted to welcome to the stage the CEO and President of Online, Mr. Steve Bunn. Great. So um, thank you very much for having me here. We're so excited to be live in the UK. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids bringing you my first video for Techno Buffalo and it brings me great pleasure to give you details of the UK launch of the OnLive gaming service. Now OnLive has been available in the US for a couple of months now but on Thursday 22nd of September 2011 it launched in the UK. I was lucky enough to be there and I managed to pick up an OnLive gaming system to test and the gaming system comprises of a small console a control pad and all of the cables you need to connect it to your TV. Now you don't need a console to use the service, you can play on live games on your Mac or PC. Creating an account is free of charge and once you've created that account you can play demos of all of the games that on live host. Now the idea behind on live is that you can play on a fairly mediocre system as long as you've got a good internet connection as all of the actual games are hosted on their servers. Now apart from buying games outright which range from a couple of pounds up to £45 in the UK you can also buy a Play Pass. Now the Play Pass costs just £6.99 and that enables you to play over a hundred titles at your will so you can jump in and out of games for a whole month for just £6.99 and I think that's going to really challenge the likes of Blockbuster which charge a couple of pounds to rent a game just for a weekend. There is also another offer at launch for the UK, which is if you are a BT customer, you can gain access to the Play Pass, which normally costs the $6.99 a month, for three months free of charge, which is a fantastic launch offer as well. My personal experience of the OnLive system so far is that it delivers a good detail of graphics, not as good as what you would expect from an Xbox 360 or a PS3, but that's because it's actually streaming those graphics down to the little tiny console or to your Mac or PC but it is perfectly acceptable very minimal lag hardly noticeable a very comfortable controller and overall a good experience I certainly do think they've got the pricing right in the UK and I think they have got a winner on their hands well thank you very much for watching I will see you all again in the next video